guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have kind of a mixed bag of, of um, things to share with you today. Some of these items um, I have uh, been given as a gift. I'm not going to say who because I'm not really into the whole like singled out put everybody you know put my friends out there on YouTube. Um, some of them don't even know I'm making videos. So anyway um, I have some presents that I received for my birthday. Um, and I also went into Sephora and a drugstore as well. And so they have some makeup um, items that I've picked up. So um, I will start off with what I received from a friend of mine for my birthday. I got spoiled and my two of my really good friends ended up taking me to the, a local park, which is basically it's an, an amphitheater and it overlooks the Pacific Ocean like for all of us sitting back. And then there's a band in front. Now the band was not very good. But it doesn't matter. It was the ambiance. It was just the fact that, you know, summer's almost over. It was so beautiful and it was wonderful. And my two friends, they basically did a picnic. Now I'll tell you, people walking by uh, who were also watching this, um, uh, this band, they were like, oh my gosh, quite the spread. Like, it was lovely. I have great friends and I don't ask for anything. I love to give. I I feel even strange and weird even when I get a compliment from somebody. I always feel, I don't know, I just feel weird because, I don't know, bashful? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, but again, I don't, I, I know lots of people, but I keep a very, very close-knit group of people who I can trust with my life and, uh, and, and who I need to talk to. And so I keep that group very small. Um, it's just less drama that way to be perfectly honest with you as well so um, and I'm not about drama so anyway into what I received from a friend of mine in a little gift bag which is awesome I got a another shower poof and it's by Kit which you can find at Rexall's in Canada this is awesome because I just redid my bathroom like shower curtain towels and that and it's in this like not quite Tiffany blue it's more of a seafoam green kind of color and I love it I think it's great great color and I get to use this add to my collection and my friend uh, here who gave me this she she <laughs> watches my videos and she saw that I had uh, run out at one time of these uh, what is it the oh, do the English because in Canada everything is English and French of course uh, it's 125 quilted round cosmetic pads also by kit so again you can find these at Rexall drugstores in Canada and I use these particular ones. They're just the small round ones to get my nail polish off. Um, I use a bigger uh, kit version um, square for my face. Uh, that'll be coming up in another video that I'll be filming today. But that was that. This is awesome. I can never have enough of them. My friend knows how much I love Brookside's dark chocolate acai and blueberry flavors chocolate. It's so good and I prefer putting these in my freezer. Same thing with Mars bars. Is anybody else out there like that? Mars bars are so much better frozen. Like seriously, buy a Mars bar, stick it in your freezer overnight, few hours, whatever, and then have a bite now. It's just because it takes longer to eat, I don't know. But I love these too, I love them frozen. So I was, now that I'm done this video, I've had this for over a week now. I will definitely be putting these in the freezer. And uh, yeah, so I love them. They're awesome. And I got a uh, soft soap brand of the Body Butter Coconut Scrub or Body Buff Wash. It smells so good. Like seriously, it's a, I, it's a fine scrub. Like it's not super duper heavy duty scrub but it's beautiful and it's got that great coconut scent. So very awesome. And lastly in my bag here, I received from uh, my friend, I'm not gonna name you again, <laughs> sorry. It is a lip gloss from Revlon. And I have two of these already. I didn't have this color, which is perfect. So this is in the color Pink Sapphire. I should have opened this first, but I've been holding onto this for a week. All right, let's see here. I didn't bring a cloth. Oh yeah, that's that's planning on my part. So just a really nice, nice wash of pink. Uh, you know, even if you put like a pink lip liner underneath and top it off with this, be beautiful. So that's what I got from that friend, and I got um, a gift card to Bath and Body Works from another friend. So uh, of course, that my last film, my last haul video from Bath and Body Works that I brought, I uh, put up on the screen, uh, on the screen, 
that I uploaded to YouTube yesterday. Uh, I use uh, one of her, the gift certificate I received from her um, on that purchase. And I got these awesomely cool earrings from my other friend. I don't know if you can see that. Now, this little bit in the middle pops out and I can change them up. I have no idea like where she got them. I think she found them at like a market on Vancouver Island that she was on. Oh shoot, sorry guys. Again, I'm so not prepared for this apparently. Um, you could pop those jewels out and then you can replace them with other jewels. So, and they've got the backing on them so they literally pop out like a button and um, yeah, I'm super excited. I don't wear jewelry very often, um, but when I do, like actually when I receive these, I put them on right away. No, they're so, so cool and I really love them. And I do love wearing earrings as well. I just don't get the opportunity to dress up. Nowhere to go, really, small town. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Basically Christmas parties, <laughs> but I do love them very much. And then I decided to go a little, um, a little small haul. Uh, I went to Rexall. Hey, I told you, <laughs> I go there a lot. My friend Tammy works over in Rexall, so it's always nice to go see her. So anyway, I picked up three lippies, if you will. I picked up one of the new Kate, uh, what do they call it? Lasting Finish by Kate Remmel lipsticks. It's one of the nude, nude ones in number 45. And I did wear this once to work and it's literally my lip color. That's it right there here. Doo -doo -doo. That's it there. It's like my lip color. I almost kind of look dead. Like I'll definitely need to top over the gloss. So, but I'm still glad I got it because I really do like a nude lip. Although you wouldn't be able to tell that from this. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. I got, oh, sorry. The next one I also got is a Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick in number 17. And it's another nude. I'll put it next to the one I just swatched. That's that one there. And it's really nice. I think I prefer this one a little bit more. I think it's got, it's a little warmer toned. It's the one on the top. It's got a little bit more of a warm tone than the other one. So that, that's cool. And apparently I went on like this Remmel like kick because these glosses, I picked one up already. Um, I just started seeing new displays for, for Remmel at Walmart and then I was at Rexall and they just got their display done. And these are the Oh My Gloss Stay Glossy for up to six hours. And so the one I already picked up, this one, sorry, is in the shade Snog, which in England means kiss. Yeah, so anyway, in case you wanna know. So that's what that looks like. And it's actually a really nice gloss. I haven't I haven't worn this one, but the other one that I got, and I can't remember the name of it, I should have brought it out. Um, I wouldn't say it stayed on for six hours, but it lasted quite some time. Like it was really good. And it wore it on its own, but again, you could wear it with a lip liner underneath or top it off. And same, let's see, with this one here. Oh, I had a theme that day. You can definitely tell. All right, so that was the one on the bottom there. So there's the four. <laughs> There's Snog right on the bottom. So that's that. All right, and then on to Sephora. Red paper, bag. You can see I didn't buy too much, but it still cost you an arm and a leg. Now, I will say, and I, like I said, I brought this one out, but I didn't think to bring out the other items that I mentioned earlier. Um, I previously bought this Hourglass, what do they call it? Extreme Sheen in Canvas. I purchased that a few weeks ago and love it. Now, if you don't like sticky lips, do not get this. Uh, it is quite sticky, but the, because of that, it lasts a really long time. Um, one thing I will say though about Hourglass and their lip glosses, they should really step up their game with some scents. They throw a vanilla or something like that in there. It smells like, I kept, was trying to think about what it smelled like. Nothing, it's like, this is the one I've already had. Um, right there. And so I thought, well, I was in Sephora. I'm like, I really like this. I'll treat myself to another one. And the other shade that I picked up was called Ballet. This is what it looks like in the tube here. I wore it on my birthday and I really loved it, of course. So it's just a beautiful, um, 
like a rose. I think it's more of a rose tone than anything. It's so beautiful and I love it. And I have uh, decided to try, everyone's been talking about this Urban Decay Revolution lipstick. Now there are matte versions of this and there are non-matte. I tried the non-matte because that's just, clearly I like the gloss theme going on. So, but I have heard the mattes are pretty comfortable to wear. So super cool packaging, like heavy duty, really nice. Like, you know, you've bought an expensive or purchased an expensive lipstick when you hold on to one of these. So a nude again. So there's that one there. And I have worn this to work and I love it. That's that right there. It's gorgeous. Like I just really love it. And it's actually, I may have to go back and maybe get another one or two, depending on, you know, what kind of shades they have and what I like. And I might try and matte, but I really like the Maybelline mattes and for like $6 at Walmart, I can't really beat the price. But anyway, there are my swatches today and most of it's lip products. But you guys, that's what I have for now. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And I have a couple other videos I'm filming today and a couple more tomorrow and maybe one on Monday. I'm trying to catch up for lost time. All right, you guys, take care and I hope you have a great weekend.